Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So I am going to be sharing with you guys the Vetsy Gel X Dupe Gel Extension Kit. But first, I wanted to share some cases that Casetify sent me. This is not sponsored by Casetify. They did gift these two cases to me, but I just thought that I would go ahead and share them with you guys on YouTube because I know some of you don't have Instagram, which I will also be posting about these cases on Instagram. But again, this is not sponsored by Casetify. I just thought I would go ahead and share it with you guys. So recently on December 1st, Casetify did drop their latest collaboration, the Tim Burton's Disney cult classic, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I was super, super excited when they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to pick out two cases from this collection because I just think this whole theme is so cool. Just look at these boxes, the little insert card with Jack Skellington. I just think this is the cutest collaboration ever and I love these cases so much. Another reason why I did want to go ahead and share them with you guys. That way you could just have an overlook of the cases and if you do decide to pick something up, you can decide to do that. So like I said, Casetify was kind enough. They reached out to me, asked if I wanted to pick out two cases, and of course I accepted because I when I saw like the pictures of them, I was in love and so obsessed with them. So this is the first case I picked out, but one thing I do quickly want to mention, I want to give a big thank you to Casetify for sending these over to me. This is just so exciting and with my new iPhone 13 Pro Max, it is just a nice thing to grow my case collection because you know, it's always fun to switch out your phone cases, have something different, and with the quality of these Casetify cases, it is just so amazing. Another thing that I really like about them is this case here that I'm actually showing you is made from 50% recycled material. It is also a mag safe um, case, so that is nice. And overall, the quality, the design, it is just amazing. I know I keep saying that, but just look at this case. I think it looks so good. I do currently have it on my phone right now, and I can just tell the quality is so good versus like a cheap little case you can get from Five Below or something like that. Those cases are always fun, but if you do have a expensive phone such as an iPhone, you do want to make sure you get a case that will protect your phone. And with the case stuff I ones, you can like get Get super protective ones that have like bumpers on them that way if you drop your phone it doesn't like break or anything like that and just the quality like I was bending it holding my phone in my hand now I just feel like it is so such like a very good quality so this is the second case I picked out and quickly I want to talk about the packaging I love how it looks like a little casket and then like the little teal and then you just pull the phone case out and it is just so nice it was like a little Christmas present from case to buy but this one here is actually a mirrored phone case, which I really like, even though it was a little bit hard to show on camera. It is also a customizable phone case, so you can see that I have my name and my boyfriend's name down there, and then it has the little heart with Jack Skellington and Sally, and then you can also use the phone case as a mirror, which I think is super cool, like if you're out and about and you just need to look at yourself quickly or something you can just flip your phone around and you have a mirror right there and is with you everywhere you go as long as you are taking your phone and this phone case here is also mag safe as well and I'm pretty sure that has something to do with like wireless charging um, I'm not 100% sure about that but that little symbol on the inside indicates that it's mag safe so I am using my boyfriend's phone to record here and he did recently drop his phone and it does have a crack and I think it kind of affected the camera quality. So I do apologize for that, but I did want to show you guys the phone case on my phone. I am easily able to press the buttons. I'm able to flip the little like notification switch, turn up my volume, turn it down. It fits nicely around the camera and overall just fits very nicely. So I will be 
leaving the link down below to the Casetify website. I do not have a discount code just because these products were just gifted to me and I just thought I would share them with you guys. But if you do want to check them out, you can. They sell tons of different sizes of phone case. They do not only sell iPhone cases. They sell Samsung and everything like that. They also sell cases for like AirPods, MacBooks, and iPads as well. Just a bunch of different things on their website. They have so many different designs and I'm sure you will find something if you take a look. So now let's go ahead and jump to the Vetsy Gel Tips Starter Kit. They did send this over to me as PR, so I do want to give a big thank you to Vetsy. Recently, I've been loving trying all of these new gel tip kits, gel extension kits, gel X dupes. I just think it's so much fun, and I just love trying them to see if they're a good kit, if they're worth it, if it like works out how it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and quickly unbox it. The first item here is a buffer and this is a 100-180 grit. The next item here is a cuticle pusher. I'm pretty sure that's what this would be called. I'm not really sure what this triangle end is. I did end up using that as my cuticle pusher. I think that's what this is. If it is not, let me know in the comment section below, but that's what I thought it was. The next item here is actually a like nail tip cutter and this one was super, super cool. I do not have one of these yet and I've wanted one. I've also seen like a little TikTok nail hack where you can use magnets just to make sure that your nail tips are all the same size, which I struggle with so much. That's why I like using like full cover tips and just like not even clipping the length down. That way I don't have to worry about making them or making sure they're all the same size. But this one here is, of course, for shorter nails, but you can make sure that all of your nails are the same size by placing this little piece on here. And let me just tell you, it took me a good 20 minutes trying to figure out how to put this on. I had to ask my boyfriend for help and eventually he got it. I couldn't really see on the back any instructions on how to put it on, but we finally got it and you can just like move the little wheel and you can go for the very short length or the longer length. And then of course you can still put this little plastic piece on there. That way you can catch the nail tips so they don't fly the whole way across your room, which usually happens to me because I don't have one of those. The next item is the solid tip glue gel and I have not tried this from Betsy. I have tried their like builder gel. I think that's what it was that I tried but this I am obsessed with. Ever since I tried it today in today's video, I loved it so much. It made applying my nail tips super, super easy and just the way that it is a solid consistency where it's not super sticky but it's solid to where your nail tip stays in place. You have enough time to look at your nail tip and make sure it's straight without a bunch of stuff oozing out. It's also super easy to clean up, which is also another plus. The next item in the box is the nail lamp and I actually do not have a nail lamp that looks like this so I thought it was super cool. Most of the times in most of these like gel kits you get kind of like the same usual nail lamp but this one here is kind of like a rose open on both ends and I really liked it. Another thing it is a 16 watt nail lamp so it is a pretty like powerful nail lamp even though you still want to make sure you go into your larger nail lamp to do your full cure. This is basically just for flash cures, but you do get the user manual. You also get the actual nail lamp, and then you also get the plug-in. You will need to provide your own block if you're plugging it into a wall outlet, but of course you can also plug it into just a regular USB port. Here is the nail lamp. It's a pretty soft pink color. It also does have an on and off button so you can turn it on and you can also turn it off. The next item are our liquids. This is the nail prep dehydrator. All of these are in 15 ml bottles. We have the base coat. We have the no wipe top coat and we also have the acid free nail primer. And all of these are our liquids that we will be using. And I actually forgot to use the no wipe top coat. I'm just now thinking about it. I totally forgot that it was included in the kit. 
but the last item are the gel tips. So these are gel. We get 600 pieces in 12 different sizes and they are full cover clear soft gel tips and I decided to choose the medium almond. The box is not the best quality. Um, you do have the numbers on the top but it's like a very hard plastic and I felt like my box was falling apart. I feel like it's one of those boxes where if you drop it, it's going to break and your nail tips are going to go everywhere. But anyways, here are the nail tips, a very nice almond shape. They are not medium almond in my opinion. I feel like they're more of a shorter almond, but still they are very good quality nail tips. And of course, I will be using these ones in today's nail set. So here is just everything that is included in this kit. They do have a couple different sizes and lengths on their website. This kit is $59.99. And you can use my discount code NAILEDBYBRANDY to save 20% off your Vetsy purchase. And I will leave all of that information linked down below in the description box. But let's go ahead and size out our nail tips. When I was sizing out my nail tips, I did just quickly want to show this even though I didn't show it very well but I wanted to mention during this part that I kind of felt like these nail tips were on the smaller like size if you have larger nail beds I feel like you should not go with this specific type of nail tips for some reason with almond nail tips I always feel like they tend to run smaller than like coffin or square and I feel like overall that's just because the shape of the nail tip is smaller it kind of goes in on the sides creating that perfect almond shape so if you are wanting to try out this nail kit and you do have larger nail beds I would recommend trying to go with another like nail shape just so you don't hopefully you don't run into the problem of not having having sizes that fit your nail beds I went ahead and put my UV LED nail glove on just because I want to protect my skin a little bit more than I have been so I went ahead put that on I'm then using this little triangle thing which I think assume is a cuticle pusher it worked really well for me if it's not a cuticle pusher let me know in the comment section like I said but it worked really good for me to be able to push back my cuticles so I went ahead and used that another little extra step that I like to do to help get up the dead cuticle from my nail plate is taking my e-file with a cuticle ball bit and just going around and cleaning up the cuticle area. This really helps remove any of that dead cuticle on your nail plate. You can also use it around your skin and that just helps a lot to remove the cuticle. After that, I am just taking a hand file and using the finer grit side to remove the shine from my nail tips. You can also do this using a sanding band and your e-file, but I just gently wanted to do it with a hand file. After that, I went ahead and made sure all of the dust was removed and I'm taking the Vetsy Nail Dehydrator and applying that to all of the nails. This will dehydrate your nails and allow your manicures to last a lot longer. If you are struggling with lifting, make sure you are using a primer. If you tend to struggle a lot with your manicures lifting, I recommend trying to use two coats of the primer because that can really help a lot in prime your nail beds and just allow your manicures to last a lot longer. After the primer has air dried, I'm now taking that Vetsy base coat and I'm applying this a thin even coat of this to all of the nails and then I will be curing in my larger nail lamp for a full 30 second cure. I also went in with my peel off base coat just because I am a content creator. I'm not going to be keeping these nails on but of course if you want to keep them on just go ahead and skip the peel off base coat step and do not apply that to your nails but because I am popping this nail set off once I'm finished with the video and taking my photos I just go in with a peel off base coat that way it's a lot easier for me to remove them. I did go ahead and size out my nail tips off camera. Like I said, I felt like they were a little bit small, but of course my nail beds aren't super large, so I was able to make it work. You do want to etch the inside of your nail tips. Either you chemically etch it or you go in with a sanding band and etch it. But if you want to make them last, that can be a huge, huge step where it will help tremendously. 
I did not do that just because I'm not going to be keeping these nails on, but I would totally recommend it. Now it is time to apply our nail tip, so I pulled out that solid glue gel, also plugged in the nail lamp, and I just pulled out a small ball of the glue gel and placed it into the nail tip. I found it a little bit difficult to use my gloves when pressing it down, so I decided to pick up this little tool here and help to smooth it and press it down. When you are using this product, it is recommended that you do not touch it with your bare skin. So if you do want to touch it, make sure you do put on some gloves just because it is a gel product and most of the times you can pick up an allergy when you do touch uncured gel. So it is always best to try and avoid it at any cause. So yes, definitely use a tool or put on a pair of gloves when you are touching and using this product. So I went ahead and just smoothed out the product inside the nail tip and I kind of just like focused it on the area where I kind of like estimated where it was going to be placed on my natural nail and I felt like helping it, like spreading it out and doing that really helped a lot with like just placing it down and being able to cure right away. I just found it very easy to do and I just, I don't really know much to say other than I truly really loved this product. I do know that you can just purchase this on the Vetsy website. So if you are just wanting to purchase this product individually instead of purchasing the whole kit, I would totally recommend you do so. This is such an easy product to use and I will be leaving it linked down in the description box below. But you just take out like a little glob of it, you put it into the nail tip. I found it easier to kind of like spread it out a little bit and then lowering it onto my nail just like I'm putting on a press on and then it like stays in place. Also, I felt like I didn't have much squeezing out. I also felt like no, I didn't get any air bubbles at all. When I am using like a liquid gel, like a 4-in-1 base gel or just a thicker base gel consistency, I do tend to get a lot of spillage. It's super hard to clean it up while trying to hold the nail tip in place and I do tend to get a lot more bubbles than with using this product. You can see that I'm able to pick up my nail and not have to hold it in place, which I really loved about this product. So I went ahead, applied all of the nails. I did a quick flash cure to each of them. Then once they were all applied, I went ahead and did a full cure for 30 seconds in my nail lamp. I'm now just going to do a little bit of cleanup and filing to these nails. Starting off with my hand file, I crisped up the almond shape and then coming back with my e-file and that cuticle ball bit, keeping my drill on a speed of a, a low speed of around 4,000 RPM. I am just going to be taking this around the cuticle to clean up any of the product that may have spilled and also to seal in the cuticle. If you do not do this step and your nails are looking like press-ons and you do want to avoid that, I recommend trying this. Even if you don't have an e-file, you can take a hand file and just file gently around your cuticle area and it can help a lot making your nails look a bit more high quality, salon quality versus giving off that press-on look. I also am taking that buffer that was included in the kit and buffing the surface of the nail. That way I can remove the shine and it will make the nails last like the polish or whatever you apply to the tops of them instead of it just peeling off from the shiny surface. I went ahead, did that, repeated those steps to all of the other nails, and brushed away the nail dust, and here are how the nails are looking. So before you begin your gel polish application, I would recommend applying a base coat to your nails because that will help a lot with keeping a clean application and not getting a lot of streaks when you're using your gel polish, but I did just go ahead and skip that step today because... I don't know, I was kind of feeling lazy and I didn't really want to do it. So I am jumping right in to doing my nail set and I'm starting off with using a charm gel. Actually, I believe all of the colors I used as gel polish today are all charm gels. Recently, I have become addicted to charm gels. They are such a very good high quality gel. I really love the consistency. They are super pigmented and most of the times when you have a super pigmented gel, it's 
it's like a very thick, hard to apply consistency. But with these gels, I think that the consistency is absolutely perfect where it's still super pigmented, but it's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's just very easy, super smooth to apply. I also really love just how you can like go in with a one thicker coat and get that super full coverage. But I personally do like to go in with two thin coats. That way I can build it up without feeling like it hasn't cured fully. That is just a personal preference, but I do really love these charm gels and they are just my top favorite at the moment. If you do want to pick anything up from Daily Charm, you can go ahead and check out the description box. I will leave my link down below. I also do have a discount code and that discount code is nailed by Brandy and you can use that code to save 10% off your Daily Charm purchase. So as you can see on the middle finger and the ring finger, I did a darker and a lighter brown. On my index finger, I'm using the Perfect White, and then I'm also going to be using Rudolph and Mistletoe on my pinky and my thumb. These two colors here are from their new Holiday collection. I did do a video on that. If you have not yet watched that video, I will leave it linked up in the cards, so make sure you go check that video out. They did recently release five new twinkle gel colors and these are just so beautiful perfect for the holiday season and the twinkle and reflectiveness is just so stunning each of the gel base colors i did go in with two coats curing for 30 seconds in between each coat After I had my base color applied to all of the nails, it is now time for some holiday Christmas inspired nail art. So starting off on the white nail, I am going to be using Rudolph and Mistletoe, the two glittery shades, to create a striped nail. I'm using my favorite line art brushes from Crafts by Nine. I will be linking these down in the description box below. I feel like I definitely need to add them to frequently used products because I am constantly using these brushes and I just, I feel like I tend to forget to link them just because it's not always on the top of my mind. So I will try to remember to add these to frequently used products just because I do really love the quality of these art line art brushes and I am always using them. So for this nail, like I said, I am just going to be doing a striped nail using the red glitter shade. I'm doing a thicker line and then using the green glitter shade, I'm doing a thinner line and I just really liked how this nail turned out. It was a little bit difficult and I think the reason it was just because I was working on a smaller nail so it was a little bit harder than working on a long a longer larger nail but I do still really like how it turned out throughout doing some of the lines I did do a quick little flash cure but once I was all finished I went ahead and cured for 30 seconds in the larger nail lamp I'm gonna go ahead and let the rest play out but I really hope that you guys are enjoying the video if you are please make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the like button and also if you're feeling generous leave a comment below
after I was finished with the stripe nail, I'm moving on to the darker brown nail. And if you didn't already tell by the thumbnail or the title of the video, I am going to be doing a gingerbread inspired nail set. And I just thought this was so cute. I showed my boyfriend in the end once I was finished and he told me it was giving him Starbucks vibes and I totally agree with him. Keep on watching to see the end result and comment below a coffee emoji if you also think it, it's giving Starbucks vibes but I'm now just going to be doing a gingerbread house or like yeah I would call this a house right drawing on a little door with a little window and some icicles you know the basic little gingerbread themed manicure so I started off with the white and I drew on the door I went ahead cured that for 30 seconds now I'm taking that white glittery shade and drawing on some very tiny lines on the white to just give it a candy cane door look to it I go ahead and cure that in the nail lamp and then I take the green glitter shade and make a little heart, outline that in white. I add on some icicles just for a nice like icy look and I also thought it went very well. It kind of like reminded me of like a gingerbread cookie with some icing drips. It just looked too cute. And then I also went in with a little dot on the door for a doorknob. I feel like there really isn't much to explain with this. You kind of just follow along with the process. And also I felt like it is pretty beginner friendly to do everything. The hardest part was definitely outlining this heart. I struggle with doing thin small lines and doing outlines. I just feel like I always tend to apply too much pressure on my brush and it just ends up looking super thick but I did like the result. It was my second attempt but it still turned out very nice. Once I was finished with the gingerbread house nail, moving on to the lighter brown nail, of course we are going to draw a little peekaboo gingerbread man. I didn't want to go all out and create a full body gingerbread man just because I knew my proportions was just not going to look good on this small nail. So I decided that I would just basically draw his e his head kind of towards the middle lower part of the nail and then just draw the rest of his body like off the nail like not even needing to draw it that way it kind of looked like he was just peeking up and this nail turned out so cute I loved it I did use the darker brown that I used for the house and it was the perfect color but I just drew on his head with a dotting tool drew on some little arms with a dotting tool and then I just filled it in with my line brush I went ahead cured that for 30 seconds and then I'm taking my white to draw on his eyes his smile to pull him all together I decided to go with a little like green bow tie and then also I'm going to be taking the red glitter and a dotting tool to give him some little buttons I cured that and then taking the white gel, I went ahead and drew on a four pointed star and also just some dots to fill in the emptiness of the nail and just kind of bring everything together. After I was finished with that, I had enough nail art for one day, so I am just going to be topping these nails off with some glossy top coat. Like I said in the beginning, I did totally forget to use that Betsy top coat. I do apologize for that. I'm sure it's amazing quality. All of the other products in this kit were, but I just went ahead, took a glossy top coat, applied that, cured for 30 seconds. Now I'm applying my cuticle oil to my cuticles to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set and here is the finished look like I mentioned in the middle of the video this set reminded my boyfriend of Starbucks if it reminds you of Starbucks leave a coffee emoji in the comment section that way I know him and I are not alone thinking of Starbucks when I look at this set 
but I absolutely loved the finished result. I think these turned out so cute. I love the length. I love the shape and I highly recommend you checking out this kit. I am not forcing you to buy it, but it is definitely a good kit from Betsy, a good gel X dupe, gel extension kit. It is just a very nice kit. I also recommend checking out the Daily Charm website. They have some amazing products. I will be leaving the links to all of the products I used or mentioned down in the description box below, so just make sure you check down there if you are interested or want to purchase anything. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. <music>